Hello everyone, I'm Ming Ching Li. Thank you for watching my presentation for Dropcon 2020. The title of this book is Throughput Output Analysis of KAG Wireless Multi Hub B2B Network. This is a co work with Professor Morris at the USC and Professor Ming Yue Ji at the University of Utah. In this presentation, I will first provide the introduction. Then the main results and some takeaways will be provided. Video traffic has increased dramatically in the past and is expected to continue the increase in the future. It is expected that the mobile traffic increased, uh, increased to the 77 extra bytes and around 16% of the traffic comes from the video demand. The service provider does need to decrease the cost per bit significantly. Otherwise, it needs to choose to either restrict the data usage of users or lose money or even watch the network to collapse. Obviously, uh, the only feasible choice is to reduce the cost per bit. But how can we reduce the cost? Conventional approaches are to have more spectrum better physical layer design, and AG more basication. However, they are usually costly and limited. For example, having more spectrum is very expensive and the improvement is only a constant factor. Improving physical link is difficult as the single link performance close to the capacity limit, and heavy machine memo is very expensive. Considering eggs more basic basication are promising. However, it can also be costly due to the need of high performance backhaul. Otherwise, it will be restricted by the backhaul. Since all conventional approaches seem invisible, a new network structure is in need. To deal with the challenges, one of the most promising networks to improve the video service is cash egg B2B network. It exploit the factor that video traffic concentrates on few popular files and that storage is cheap to improve the performance by catching popular files close, close to devices. Specifically, by, train, by caching popular files in devices and delivering them via high performance need to be linked when requested files. The performance of video services can be significantly improved. Moreover, as compared to the other caching networks, having cache having cache to be networks does not need to install any new infrastructure. We thus focus on this network in the, in this work. One of the essential properties leading to the benefit of cache AG to be networks in the concentrated popularity distribution, which is commonly assumed to be chip distribution. However, it is observed from real data that the popularity distribution for mobile users is not deep distribution, but an NGIP distribution. The main difference between a deep and NGIP distribution is that NGIP distribution has a practical regime that is characterized by the practical factor. Then, since the shape of the popularity distribution can influence the performance significantly, we are wondering what is the fundamental impact when changing from a deep assumption to a deep assumption, and whether this will degrade the performance of cache AGB to be networks. That question has been answered for network considering single hub B2B. The result shows that the practical factor can influence the scaling goal. However, the fundamental benefit of cash agit while we seek to be retained. Then in this work, we would like to explore this for the case that multi hub b 2 is adopted in the network. To characterize the fundamental property of the cash agit b 2 network, we need to characterize its scaling behavior as number of users and the number of files for go to infinity. According to the literature survey, there is some papers discussing scaling up and optimality for cache exit while this must have B2B network. 
However, all of them consider the distribution and will even exist some gap between the achievable performance and the outer bounds. In the work of 2012, they discussed the achievable scaling law considering centralized patient parts and simplified great depth model. In the network of 2019, it also discussed the scaling law of outer bound considering again centralized patient. The results show that the outer bound is tied to the achievable performance and the ultimately is obtained for the centralized caching part. In the work of 2017, it discussed the scaling law and outer bound for the centralized caching part. However, there exists a gap between the achievable performance and the outer bound. As mentioned above, it has been shown that the NGIP distribution better fits a large real world data set than the GIP distribution assumed in the literature. Thus, our paper aims to provide scaling law analysis under the NGIP distribution assumption. Consider the following setup. <coughs> We consider the uncoded cache exit where the multi hub B2B networks. User distribution is assumed to follow, for example, in process. Channels are models using patch loss attenuation. We are doing no base stations to help delivering. We like to focus on undivided caching and the B2B cooperation game. We assume the number of users goes to infinity. Number of files in the library goes to the infinity, and caching size of a device is a constant. We assume the average number of users in the network is much larger than the library size. As a result, network has sufficient ability to cache the whole library. We generally consider the NGIF model for popularity distribution. We consider that gamma is greater than one and that the practical factor Q goes to infinity. The reason is that if the practical factor is a constant while n goes to infinity, the distribution would generally behave like a deep distribution as in classical. Also, as a matter of practice, gamma greater than one has been found in the real world data set. Since we assume some point process, the number of users in a, in a network is a random variable. We just consider the expected minimum user throughput as a definition of the user throughput. Also, the outage probability becomes the expected percentage of users that cannot obtain the desired file. We focus on the regime that the outage probability is intelligibly small or converging to zero. This corresponds to the consideration of the small outage part probability requirement in practice. To derive the scaling law, the achievable scheme uses a clustering approach in which a scale is spread into small clusters. Users in the same cluster use B2B communication for delivery. Then different clusters can be activated at the same time. But a frequency reuse approach is adapted to avoid inter cluster interference. Users are assumed to access only to other users in the same cluster. The essence of this scheme is to track the throughput of outage by changing the cluster size. If we increase the cluster size, there will be more users in each cluster, leading to better outage performance. <coughs> However, in this case, since more users are in a cluster, the per user throughput could reduce. <coughs> then within each cluster, we consider a hybrid multi hub delivery. When dealing with those destination matching for users, we have two types of transmission. First, if a user can find the desired file from users in the same cluster, it randomly picks one of these users as sources for a real transmission. Then if a user cannot find the desired file from users in the same cluster, it is in outage. <laughs> However, when a user is in outage, it is still paired with an arbitrarily selected user for a virtual transmission. 
that is the transmission does not deliver the desired file. <laughs> then after repairing, the marking up delivery scheme proposed in a paper of 2007 is the recipe used. Such hybrid gene is suboptimal in constant vector because of the virtual transmission. However, it is optimal in terms of scaling low as the subterminality manages when the output probability is negligibly small. And we consider this hybrid approach to attain better mechanical flexibility. <coughs> the optimal catching policy is given in theory one. The optimal policy is in a sense of that the policy can minimize the altitude probability of a cluster. There are two implications of this theory. First, it is somewhat similar to a water feeding solution that we give the file with larger requested probability, a larger catching probability. The second, the number of files with non zero catching probability is at least the same order of the practice factor Q, which indicates that catching a very popular file is very necessary. <laughs> For the, for the case with gamma greater than one of NG popularity distribution, we see that the performance is dominated by the practical factor Q. <coughs> this is intuitive as in this case, most traffic are concentrating on the very popular files. We also see that the altitude probability in this case converges to zero with the polynomial rate relevant to the G factor gamma. If a G factor gamma is larger, we actually have the tail is deeper. Then the convergence rate is higher. Note that since Q is usually much smaller than the number of files in a library M, it is a very nice result that the scaling goal is dominated by Q index N, which gives us a much better super performance. We also analyze the outer bound to see how good our achievable scheme is. We get this by analyzing the transmission distance between source and the destination. In the outer bound analysis, there is no assumption of using clustering structure. Thus, this outer bound is more general. We consider only regions that altitude probability is negligible small, matching to the regions in the achievable performance. The idea of the outer bound corrupt here is that by changing the maximum allowable file transfer, Transmission distance of users, we can track off between the output priority and the, and, the, and the interference regime caused by the user. The result shows that the achievable performance is tied to the outer bound, indicating that the optimality of the derived achievable scheme. Also, this shows that the inclusion of intercluster communication does not change the scaling goal as the interference regime and are organized to the same for both cases. However, the constant factors might be different. At the end, we provide some takeaways. First, by analyzing a scaling law, we again better get the benefit of the cache agent legally network for video delivery for the practical and probability distribution. Also, we show that optimal throughput traits performance for the and probability distribution. We see that the practical factor is critical for the scaling law considering the energy probability distribution. Finally, we note that there are more results in our general version, which complex the analysis by providing results of which other regions of Q and gamma are considered. Thank you for your attention. If you have any problem, please contact me.